YouTube, it is Diva D coming at you with another video. Oh, you guys, see what I did. I colored my hair again. I have been researching for months and months and months on how to color my hair healthy. Sorry, how to color my hair and it still be healthy. And, and and happy and moisturized and all that good stuff without damage, without problems, so on, so on. So, I used this is it up? So, okay. flash lightning. Hope you can see it. Flash lightning by Manic Panic. It's a 30 volume. Um, but I, from what I've researched, you don't need a 30 volume. So when I do my touch-ups, I'll probably drop down to a 10. And this is bleach, um, just in case you didn't know that. So the developer I'm gonna use, I will not be using this again because it comes in the 30 developer. So I will probably use a different uh, bleach because I don't wanna use a high developer. Because the higher you go, the more damage you can do. Everybody on YouTube is saying 30 and up, bleh, you don't need it. So, I'm not going to risk uh, doing it over and over and over on my hair. I'm not going to do that. So, um, the history on my hair and color. I had some blonde highlights in my hair. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Eight to ten years ago, I had blonde in my hair. Um, when I first went natural, I had blonde in my hair, but a professional did it. My hair was cool and everything. And then, you know, later on when I start getting into natural and saying, I can do this myself, I can do this myself, I can do this myself. I tried to put in my own blonde color and it did not work out too well. I used a box color. It was probably dark and lovely or something like that. Um, I think, I don't want to blame the product. I want to say that what went wrong was uh, just me not knowing what I was doing and the afterwards care, the afterwards care portion of coloring my hair, coloring your hair, I totally just kind of <gasps> did not research that part. So I wound up with a lot of breakage from that blonde color, blah, 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 and so on and so on. So this time around, I made sure I did my homework um, with the bleach. Uh, this is the first time I've bleached my hair. Before, I just used Dark and Lovely color on it, and boom, that was it. But this time, I used the bleach. Now, when I bleached my hair, it was a blonde color, and I only did this section, as you can see. I only did this top section of my hair. Um, last time, when I did uh, dye my hair blonde, I did my whole head, and, you know, some didn't make it. Some of my strands did not make it to the end with me, but I do have some that kind of hung in there. Um... Now, as of this year, I dyed this same part of my hair. It had been years and years and years and years since I did that blonde. So basically I colored virgin hair um, this year, which is probably about February when I did it. And I used, um, sorry, I used this. And I got two boxes. I don't know why I got two boxes. I said, ooh, all of the hair. I need two boxes. <laughs> but, oops, sorry. I am sorry. I'm just being so lazy because <laughs> I have a moment to do the video, right? And I'm like, I'm not going to go and get all fully dressed to make a video. <laughs> I'm just going to throw my robe on and I am hot in this thing, y'all. I'm hot. Can y'all see the split? <laughs> But anyway, what was I saying? Um, this is what I used in February sometime, February. And I just did this top portion. My main reason for doing that was because my grays was just, oh, they were getting to me. I just could not stand that gray. Ugh. And, I, and I, I'm only in my 30s. I forget exactly how old sometimes I do. Um, <laughs> but Main reason for doing it was because of the gray. Had to get rid of it. So I did that and I was like, well, the red doesn't look like it does in a box. Don't like it so much. So I did Manic Panic over that. 
and I got a good result, but it's been a few washes since then, and that manic panic has faded. Now it's still there, it's stained the gray, so it's still it was still in there, but I still wanted more more pop, more color, more red. So three months later, which is I think a good time frame for doing this type of thing to your hair. As far as bleaching, you know, when you do your roots and stuff, I think you should wait like three months or something like that. According to the lady at Sally's, but I'm just rambling. I apologize, but I'm sorry. I'm just so hot at this thing. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, yeah, you want to wait some time in between when you're doing this kind of thing. And I don't recommend you doing this yourself. No, 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 no. I researched my butt off, okay? I was watching YouTube video after YouTube video and searching on the internet and la 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 all of that, okay? So I got myself good and ready, good and ready, steady handed, firmly, okay, I got this and did it, okay? So if you just had the idea like, poof, I want to color my hair, no, 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 honey. No. Do your research. Or go to a professional, okay? I'm going to say go to a professional just, just to be safe, okay? Um. So I put in the uh, bleach, and then I used the Manic Panic. Where is that thing? Where'd it go? Oh. My bad. Okay, let me get back in the frame. Okay. I use Manic Panic. Vampire Red. That's what I saw a lot on YouTube. People using the Vampire Red. So, of course, I had to try it. And I like it. Actually, it's called... This is the wrong one. This is the one I used the first time. I don't know what my Vampire Red is somewhere. This is the one I used the first time. It's the Pillbox Red. It was what I used the first time. This time, I used the Vampire Red and that empty... A container somewhere around here but <laughs> I apologize I sound so spacey I might just have to do this whole video over again after I review it I don't know I might just leave it like it is I don't know I'm just hot okay I'm just I'm just so hot okay I just I need a fan like where is my church fan um <laughs> you know how you hot you're so desperately hot that you just look for anything to fan with uh yeah so, speaking of which, um, the lady at the Sally's counter kind of put this in my bag. She's like, you want this? Boom, put it right in my bag. I was like, okay. <laughs> but it is um, Repair Solutions, Ion Repair Solutions. And um, I'm going to use this either tonight or in the morning. Um, and I say that because I don't really want to go to bed with a wet head. Um, I just... I don't want to. I don't feel like it. So I might do it in the morning and find something to do during the day outside or something and let my hair air dry um, in the nice weather. Um, but this is what you want to do after you do something traumatic like um, bleaching your hair or after you get it done by a professional. You want to use some kind of repair conditioner, repair something or other to strengthen and moisturize weak, damaged hair. Because that's basically what you have done when you have colored slash bleach slash whatever you did to your hair. So do some kind of treatment thing. I also bought this from Walgreens. It's a Dove Damage Therapy Intensive Repair. And I do not, I have not seen any damage yet. This stuff is pre preventative care. Okay preventative we're gonna prevent is it in there prevent damage from happening see we're gonna get it ahead of time this time because i'm gonna keep my hair this time so what else do i have around here that i was gonna oh let me tell you something this stuff right here elastic olive oil elastic Elasta QP olive oil mango butter moisturizer. This right here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like 
the smell of it. My husband was like, you don't like the smell of mangoes? I'm like, what am I supposed to like mangoes because I'm female or something? Like, all females like the smell of mangoes? Like, did I, did I, did God miss something when he was making me, when he created me? Like, he was supposed to give me that certain smell that I'm supposed to like mangoes and stuff? No, I don't like this. I do not like mangoes, okay? Do not like the smell of mangoes. Every woman doesn't like it. I like strawberries. <laughs> and, um, let's see. I like vanilla scented things. Um, what else do I have? Do I have anything else around here? Hello. I think that's all I got to show you all that in my hair. Um, and give you guys a little closey, closey of it. Do, do, do. And, uh, as you can see, it's all not colored. Hopefully you can see I say that, but I don't even know if I'm in a shot. Here it is. Oh God. Ah, it's so hot. Okay. Jeez. That's for, um, you know, when I go back and look at my videos, I don't have a crazy picture up there when I'm just like, ur, ur, you know, you know, you download your video and they got this crazy picture of you pronouncing something with the ugliest face ever. And it's like the front of your video. The first thing people see when they see a video and you're like, ur, ur, no, no. That's what you got to do. You got to hold it for a while. And, you know, anyway, so that's the end. And thanks to all my new subs and all that. And I'm going to go before I pass out. So, um, bye y'all.